Crap. Uh, crap being said, I'm skipping cutscenes because I want to. Yeah, yeah. I can't skip them yet, can I? Nope. Pressing every button, I can't skip yet. Okay, there we go. No roading. Expect a lot of English. Just saying. Oh, it's this mission. I remember this mission, kind of. Kind of, sort of, not really. I get something in this. Well, I get something in most missions. But yeah, this is the mission where I think it begins to introduce the World A, World B aspect into this game. Where, like, about six missions in this game... Yeah, I'd say six is a fair number to say. Six or seven missions in this game have a split. There, There is either mission blank A, mission blank B. The mission that you choose changes A, the objective, and B, the suits you get from it. Like, for example, doing the, se the second time you can choose A or B, choosing B gets you the Gundam Double X. I just say that because that's the only one I really care about. <laughs> and my first playthrough, I didn't do that. So I was kind of pissed off at myself because I wanted because the entire time I was playing through, I'm like, I want double X. I'm sick of playing as normal X. Like, I maxed it out, and I like derped it. I'm like, no, I'm like, sad face. And the people who were in Skype call with me were like, troll. And I was like, screw you guys. You guys are jerks. And they're like, troll. And I'm like, shut up. And then I kind of sad face. All right, that's clear. Basically, what we're supposed to do is we're supposed to clear the outer base, all, all of these outer areas of enemy presence. Walk on everything. That works. Alright, and this is introducing ace units. Basically, ace units are normal units that have a lot more health, and they're generally a lot more annoying. But usually, you don't have to worry about them. No, no, never mind, you do, because they're like the most annoying units ever. You'll see what I mean later. Especially in like a mission, say, mission 6, I think it is. I think that's the mission where you get X, which is pretty much what I'm going to be playing a lot. Should show off a combination attack. Next time I see an Ace unit, I will. Okay, that's objective B clear. Or, the secondary clear. Okay, now approaching next target area. Yeah, as I, yeah, basically if you upgrade your mobile suit pretty freely, let's just show off the combination attack. L2 activates it. And actually, like, characters will just attack, you know, like, do like a pretty strong attack. Depending on what characters you actually have with you after this, after like this, like, combination attack, Sometimes characters will do a group combo, like, th that wasn't like a good combination. But, like, say, if you had Gundam X and Wing Zero Custom, for example, they would then do an attack where all three, where, like, Gundam Wing Zero Custom did his tween buster rifle at the same time as the satellite cannon. And they usually just do a lot more damage. They're really good. Okay. and I need to hurry up and do this quickly. You are dead. Yeah, I should probably hurry up with this so my so the areas don't get blown up or my ships, whatever you want to call them. Come on. Yeah, definitely when you're fighting ace units, especially a lot later in the game, you you want to get... Ow. That's not a good example of what I was about to say. You want to get good, whenever you see caution, you want to get really good at quick dashing. Unless you want to get hit. Which I did, because I did quick dash. But generally... Yeah, I forgot what I was going to say. Brain freeze. Come on, die. Die, die, die. Die, 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 come on and die, come on and die, 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 come on and die. I have no idea why I'm singing this, I don't really know at all, but these maps are really inaccurate because it says I'm there, but I'm really here. Okay. 
Oh, hey, all the enemies went away. Cool, Leo. Oh, by the way, if you don't do anything, if you, like, don't move at all, then you, like, just drop down. It's kind of annoying, because then it means you have to kind of do this a lot. You, you or just screw down like I'm kind of doing right now. Screw around. Okay. Next thing. Outstanding. Whatever that is. What is that? It's it. What is it? You want it all, but you can't. Yeah, I think those are more ace exclusive max if I remember correctly. They're like, sup? Yeah, I think they are ace exclusive. That's like, B drive, operation, activate, weird looking object. And this is the introduction, pretty much, of the of uh, the world a b feature you can't choose it right now but later in the game you will have the option to choose which world you want to fight in for like six missions well it's like which world would you like to fight in and then the next six missions you're fighting in this world so yeah this isn't the introduction of it because for the next few minutes because you don't get to choose yet but when you do get to choose it's kind of annoying because then you have to play because it means you have to play the game at least twice to get all the Story max, but whatever. It's a black hole. But what I'm planning on doing, and again, you won't see this for a bit, but when I do get the option, I am planning on going down the A B path. So first time I get to choose, I'm going down path A, then I'm going down path B, so I can get double X. Yeah, we're getting sucked into the black hole. And they died. Which explains the long loading screen. Oh, wait, what? Now we're in a desert. For no reason. Yeah, this is what I mean. a desert. What the crap is going on? Spinning around camera. Fun this happened. Wait, what? I think enemies are showing up. <coughs> oh, I, oh, wait, I think this is the first boss fight, actually. Yeah, this game does have boss fights, and there's the first boss fight. It's the Ace Mech. Whatever. It's another Ace Mech. And it's coming at, come at me, bro. Yeah, here we go. First boss. And yeah, definitely when you see caution, I would suggest dashing. Ah. Defeat unknown enemy. I'm guessing that's what it says. Or something along those lines. And yeah, bosses in this game are. This game is generally pretty easy. But there are some annoying missions and they usually involve boss fights. Generally though, the boss fights are pretty easy because this game is not really designed to be that difficult of a game, honestly. It's more meant to be any mech anime fan fan's wet dream, but... Eh. It's kind of annoying to get combo though. Whoa. Oh, eat, eat, eat rockets. Eat poorly aimed rockets, okay. And you can transform into crap. Oh. Okay, that's it. Alright. He's like, eh, screw this. You guys are weak. Screw you, I'm leaving. Then we're like, no, and then he's like, ha ha ha, and then we're like, what? Okay. Now they're gonna fly away, talk about some crap, except crap I can't understand. 
probably has to do with where are we? And they're like, we're in an alternate dimension. And they're like, what? And then the game get real. <laughs> it's like, no, the game better not crash. Not be good. Save. Shave our game. If you'd love to shave the game. Damn, we still have seven max, so we didn't get anything from that. And we haven't seen that we we're in different worlds because they're like, wait, we're not in alternate dimension, are we? And then they're like, yeah, we are. And then they're like, dang it. Okay, I think this is. Wait. They said something about briefing, I know that. Okay, that's the freedom. That's the freedom, I think. Yeah, this mission introduces plain enemies, a new type of fighter, and gates. Gates are annoying because what they do, and I'm just keeping this on there because it's actually something useful to use as an example. Gates, what they do is, while they stand, they X off certain parts of the map. So if you go in those parts of the map, you start draining health. It's kind of rather annoying, actually. So yeah, you need to destroy those tower gates. And apparently in this mission we are rescuing the Freedon, which you all know what that means. If we're rescuing the Freedon, we're getting Gundam X stuff, which most of you probably didn't know, because Gundam X was never released outside of the U.S. Except it's like the best Gundam series ever. And now I'm probably going to get a bunch of fanboys like, No, you lie, wingers! Rage face. And I'm like, I don't care. Whoa. Tripping out, tripping out, tripping out. I almost finished leveling this up. Yo, and I don't have enough money for that. I kind of want to save some money for X. I'm just going to purchase this upgrade because generally they're rare and I don't know what they mean, but they are purchased because I feel like it. Mwahaha. But yeah. Without further ado, let's go rescue the Freedom. I don't know why I'm talking in this voice now. I'm going to stop though, because I don't get because I don't get it. Okay, let's go. Now eroding. Come on, come come on, come on, do the long mountain what? Yeah, this mission used to annoy the crap out of me, like the first time I played through it, because I didn't get how you the repairing mobile suits, which you kind of skimmed over. Basically, mobile suits health carry over from level to level, and you need to actually heal the mobile, and you need to actually repair the suit in order for them to actually work. Oh, yep, there's Gundam X! Alright, you guys are looking at my main, and Garrett does not have blue hair in the actual show, he has black hair, it's just... You know, cell shading kind of fails and makes blue look like black. Or black look like blue, whatever. No, I will not lose. And this is where you will start seeing scenes from the anime actually being shown off in scenes in the in Ace. Because this is actually what happens in episode one. Is like, Wits and Roy be are like, Sup! Give us back our Gundam. You kind of stole it, Gary. You're kind of a douche. And then Garrett's like, Screw you guys, Tifa. And then Tifa's like, don't worry, Garrett. And then she activates the satellite system, and it's like, satellite system? And then it's like, boom. And then everything blows up. Basic summary of what happens at the end of episode one. Or beginning of episode two, I forget. <sighs> I haven't watched Ace, in, or I haven't watched Gundam X in like half a year. <clears throat> but yeah, now we are going to fight towers. Towers have a barrier shield around them. Which means you have to kill all the enemies in their general area in order to be able to actually take out the tower. Yeah, flying around in a circle usually doesn't help for aiming, but yeah. Let's take out this. Yeah, the red areas on the maps are the areas that you cannot get enter into without taking a pretty decent amount of damage. Meaning, your health would be like crazy. But yeah, basically in this mission, all we have to do is take out enemies while protecting the freedom. Which isn't too difficult. Protect. Sweet. But I'm going to neglect to attack the like smaller formations. I'm pretty much just going to attack the barriers for now and then attack the then attack the fleet ships. Because the fleet ships are pretty much the heads of the group. Then you know if they're close to the three and they'll protect them. They're all destroyed. 
aside from that. I really won't really care. And I'm gonna destroy these troop formations that are kinda garrison right here. Because they may bug me later. And I don't like being bugged later. I would rather destroy things now. And I'm just gonna ace unit. Destroy them right now. But yeah. Just kinda take them out. Little by little, now by now. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, at the end of this mission, we get the Gundam X, Gundam Airmaster, and Leopard Gundam. And I'm probably, for the next little bit, I'm gonna have my party be, be playing as double X and Airmaster and Leopard being my assist. Which I generally do. I will try to, again, mix it up a little bit once I can say get near Baj and such, but for the most part, I'm gonna be playing as X for now. But again, this won't be me exclusively playing as one mobile suit. I'll try to be a little bit. I'll try to spread out their wealth a little bit. Maybe, who knows, maybe I'll play as turn A and like rock and them and rock the mustache a bit, I don't know. Love rocking that mustache. Totally. Oh yeah, now they're kind of attacking the freedom. I should probably go over there. Yeah, that's Roy B. And then, no, that, no, that's Wits. Never mind. Roy B is going here. Let's protect the freedom. That'd probably be a good idea. I think this is like the only mission that you actually see the freedom in. Like, generally, like MSs, you will, or like carriers, or like you know, friendly ships, you will see in one mission, and then you will see them late, like a little later. Like generally, missions that have to do with that character. The freedom, I think, is the only like I don't remember ever seeing the freedom after this mission. So, I see characters from the freedom, but I don't see the actual freedom. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and like my phone goes off and it's like not it's, it's not going off the same time. So I should probably put my phone on silent for even though I'm stupid and I don't. Of course, after we load, take that out. And all right, let's take out. Oh, yep. Okay, that's it. That's it for this part of the mission. Next, we have. Oh wait, we have two things left. First off, head to one of the corners of the map. I generally like heading to the bottom left. Just for reference, I guess. I don't know. Because ran because more because those stupid flying enemy because those stupid jelly enemies appear if I remember correctly. Yeah, they appear. Yeah, they appear. Or they kind of do. The new set of enemies appears. Except I hate these ones because they're really annoying. Except they're not being annoying now. And, no, 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 no! Ow, 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 ow! And almost drained a thousand health, I think. Okay. Yeah, you generally... Ah, stupid piece of crap, I hate these things. They just are doing that, like, my last playthrough, they never did that. Oh, yeah, I want to avoid that. Yeah, they generally only have time to go to use costume attacks guns. Now, unless, you know, you are dumb and let them use it again. Okay. And then usually in the middle of attacking one of them, like pretty much when you wipe one of them out, this happens. Garrett kind of fails, like, no! And then I'm like, what? And then, of course, Dream starts playing, because that song is awesome. Which is like, let's activate the satellite system. 
What? Well, laser's coming from the moon. No! Yeah, by this point, like, Jamil's like, No! Tifa, don't do it! Satellite system? Well, what? Alright! Satellite cannon! He wipes everything out. It's pretty awesome because, you know, Gundam X is amazing. Holy crap, death. Like, yeah! And then hear awesome music. Like this power. And then you see the Frost Brothers. Something in Olba Frost. I don't remember the first guy's name because I because he's too much of a douche for me to remember his name. Yeah, I hate the Frost Brothers, by the way. They're kind of the main villains of X, but whatever.